Hello YouTube, I'm here with the ASUS Zen Watch to show you the top apps of February 2016. Still feels weird saying 2016, whatever. So the first application is actually a watch face, and I discovered it because of a YouTube comment down below. One of you guys, the guy's name's right there, I can't say it, but there it is. It is an aquarium watch face, as you can clearly tell. It costs like a dollar or a dollar fifty, and I've always wanted an aquarium watch face. I really like it, so... Links for all these apps will be in the description down below in order. I love you guys. Just show me some support. Click the like button or subscribe. Either one, maybe both. Whatever floats your boat. With that said, let's get started. Orbitus is the second app I'm going to show you. It's a game, actually. And it's pretty fun. I'm pretty sure it's free. And I'd, while it's loading, I'd like to mention, I pick these apps not only off like what I like, but if there's good reviews on the Google Play Market, I'll be sure to review the app, even if I don't like it. I will still do it. And I actually like this game. It's pretty fun. I caught myself playing it for about maybe two or three minutes today. And it's like a little earth. You are that little earth and you tap the inside or the outside to get on like a different orbit. So if you see you're about to crash into something or something's about to crash into you, you just tap and like, I'm going to purposely kill myself. But you get the point. Pretty cool. I like it a lot. And there's a nice little exit button by swiping. That's always a sign of a good app. So the third app I was going to show you was this, but it's not working for some reason, so we're just going to continue on. Maybe that'll be in the next edition of this. Bubble Shoot Ticks, I don't think I reviewed before because I've never seen it. Maybe I have, let me know. Um, with that said also, Spooky House Studios, I read some reviews in a lot of the apps that they put out. And if you have the Moto 360 or a round Android Wear device, apparently people have a hard time playing these games. Let me know if that happened to you. So, I don't know what the hell that is. No, I just want to play the game. And you've probably seen this game before. I've really wanted it on my watch. But basically, you just, you know, you shoot the little bubbles at the other bubbles of the same color. And they, uh, they explode. It's really fun. I've played this before on my phone, on my computer. So, it would be nice to have my watch while I'm waiting in line. There's an exit button. It's up here. You gotta... You gotta click on it. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it's definitely there. So we're gonna go on to the next app. And it is... PDF Reader. I don't think I showed this to you guys, but it's an entire PDF Reader. This is a great application. Pretty sure it's free. I used it to just like look at things on my wrist when I don't want to take out my phone. And for instance, I have an entire calculus cheat sheet here. You can zoom in, you can change everything, it's super readable, it's a great application. If you hold down on it, you can pick different files. So we can just pick a different one, it's an actual file that I made myself. And you can invert the colors, it's a great application. There aren't applications like this for the Apple Watch at all, really. I mean, it's just not up to par yet. So we're just going to keep going, actually I'm going to go to the whole bottom now because I feel like that'll be faster to... F oh! Oh! Okay, alright, so we'll try that again, just going to scroll down here, and I don't know what I just clicked on, hopefully it was Rail Maze, because I wanted to show you that, and maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know. While that's loading, I figured I'd show you guys the great use of a Nintendo Wii to hold my phone, so if you have a Nintendo Wii laying around, it can also be used as a phone holder because they obviously aren't going to be used anymore. I mean, I tried using it, it, it just didn't work out for me. So we're just going to pick one of these random ones that's locked. Awesome. So you get the point. It is like a train, and you have to turn the railroad tracks to go the right way so that you don't crash your train. And quite honestly, I don't see how I'm ever supposed to make that work. So I'm just going to crash this train, because that's a start. And make Okay, so it's going to go straight. Then we'll turn it and, yeah, okay, hold on, I got this, I got this, guys. Okay, we got, this is a lot harder than I thought, but I think that's it, I think that's it, let's do it, let's, let's, let's go. Yes, yes, all right, job well done. Okay, so let's, let's get out of here and show you the next app. Highly suggest that, it's pretty fun. I uh, used to play that, I don't know what I used to play it on, but it definitely wasn't my watch. The next app I've got for you guys also happens to be the last app, and it is called Wear Apps Tracker. And basically what it's going to do is show you all the applications that you have downloaded to your Android Wear device. So if you click on it on your phone, which I can't show you because I'm using my phone to record this, it'll show you a page with all the watch faces and various apps you have downloaded so you can easily uninstall them. 
and when you do uninstall them, you can have push notifications sent to your watch to tell you that they have been uninstalled. Or you can have it send a notification to tell you it has been installed. But Android Wear kind of already does that, so it kind of defeats the purpose. But anyways, it's free. Definitely recommend checking it out because it's a lot easier to delete watch faces when you see them all on one little list instead of scrolling through all of your applications on your phone. But with that said, guys, that's it. I'm Joey. I like the way you click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next month. Thanks for watching.